very latest on the massive Thomas fire. That's the fire burning in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. After 12 days, more than 256,000 acres have burned. More than 1,000 homes and other buildings have been destroyed. Tonight, crews have that fire about 35% contained. Still, mandatory evacuation orders in effect for the Sespe Creek and Burson Ranch areas near Fillmore. The Thomas fire has been burning for almost two weeks, as we said, 12 days. More than 8,000 firefighters are working to contain it. KCOMI's Jeff Nguyen is live in Santa Barbara, where some big concerns about the winds that could be getting stronger again tonight. Jeff? Indeed, Sandy and Jeff. And when you walk through this neighborhood, you will notice it is very quiet. On the ground, there is plenty of ash, and there is fear that this may get even worse. That's because a red flag warning will kick in at 2 in the morning. That should last for 36 hours. So firefighters say if you live in an evacuation zone, you need to get out. Tonight, Jim Welsh did some last-minute work on his home in Santa Barbara, where a red flag warning will be in effect until Sunday. He spent the past week clearing out his gutters in case the Thomas fire moved in his direction, and this ladder is on standby. Just in case I have to get on the roof for some reason. This map shows just how big the Thomas fire is. When we compare it to Los Angeles, the acreage burned is about the same size as the entire L.A. basin. In the past week, fire crews have been driving up and down these streets to get familiar with them. A number of engines are parked in the driveways in case anything flares up. Crews don't want to see a repeat of the T fire that destroyed more than 200 homes in Montecito and Santa Barbara more than nine years ago. The same dangerous conditions are expected overnight, which is why firefighters are asking people in evacuation zones to simply get out. Get out to safety and uh, Feel confident that, that the fire department is here protecting your neighborhood. In addition, firefighters say you shouldn't wait until the last minute if you live around tight, windy roads. There's absolutely increased danger as it gets darker and later. This whole field is, is cut back pretty hard. Jim Welsh says he has a lot of defensible space around his home, which is why it has survived a number of fires. But he admits it's going to be a long night. Uh, I just set a timer for once an hour and I just get up every hour and Go take a look and see where it's at. And we are starting to see a light breeze out here, which is why firefighters are asking people in the evacuation zones to leave tonight and tomorrow. Then they also say those dangerous sundowners are expected to hit tomorrow evening. For now, we'll send it back to you. Boy, such a horrible experience for the people there. Jeff, thanks.